I don't get what I want, I get what I need. Every single day I'm heading off to my dream, and I get everything that I damn well please. I don't give a damn if you all listening to me. All right, guys, Andy Elliott, One Percenter Podcast. Today, I've got some badasses that are here with me. Number one, Max is 28 years old, president of Cells. Um, he's an animal. He's been killing it. Uh, he's going to tell you a story here in a minute. And by the way, once you hear it, you're going to be like, damn, I need to be around Max. And then we got Noah. Noah's 41 years old, but he looks like he's 30. He doesn't age. Thank you. And he's a savage, runs a giant region in Florida. You may say, what are we talking about today, Andy? Well, we're talking about sales, and sales will make you rich. And if you become a good leader and you become great at sales, you make a lot of money. And honestly, like who you're around determines, I really think, how fast you develop. I was For just sure. talking to Max, and we'll kind of we'll start. Um, Meraki Solar, they're a great company I've done business with for a long time. I pull up on their calls. Sometimes there's 700 people. Uh, there's just there's a massive team, a massive company. They're just doing big stuff. Um, but you guys really care about your people. Uh, Max started in the door to door space. I know you got a story, but I know Max when he was young, he started didn't have a mentor. Yep. Right. Kind of figured it out on his own. Now you guys like helping people make a lot of money, and you like to teach them everything that no one taught you when you were young. Yep. Um, so guys, Meraki Solar. I'm here with Max. I'm here with Noah. Uh, they're brothers of mine. They have a massive team. Um, you guys can join their team. But what I want you to know is uh, how do people get to where maybe you want to go? Okay. Well, we got to learn from them. We got to study them. Okay. So Max, you're 28 years old. I know a lot of people in my audience, um, you know, they could be in their 30s. They could be in their 40s. I mean, you could be in your 20s. Yep. You could be 18 years old. Or you have 50. No, yeah, or, or 50. But you have no idea how fast your life can change when you get around the right people. And I think you get in the right boat yep. if you're rowing hard and you're in the wrong boat you still may not go nowhere For sure. okay you guys have a boat that literally is changing a lot of people's lives so i wanted to make sure that my people the people that trust us that watch us every day know who you guys are so they're like man dude like i'm looking to change boom here's your shot um yeah. so max appreciate you bro noah Thanks, thank man. you i Absolutely. really appreciate you guys and uh, Max, why don't we start out with you for just a minute, right? Like, cause I, cause I started talking about mentorship yeah. and everybody on our channel loves self-development, right? Um, it takes a while when you don't have a good leader with you, but now that you've learned all this, um, talk a little bit about your story. Um, I'd like if that's yeah. cool, but also I want you to talk a little bit about like things that you teach the people that work for you that puts them decades ahead of everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think for me, well, it's taken me six years uh, of hard focus to get to a place where I feel comfortable passing knowledge on. You know, yeah. I feel comfortable saying, hey, man, come join me specifically, join my team, but hang out with me and I can confidently take you somewhere. I feel like it's taken me six years to get to that point. Last year, I would have wanted to say that, but I don't know if I had all the pieces of the pie, you know, put together. And so for me, I started knocking doors at 20. And I was in school on a full ride academic scholarship. I was going to be an ophthalmologist, which is a nice surgeon. That was my path. And uh, my family or my mom was in medicine. That's what I knew. That That's the wealthy path that I knew. And I knew I wanted to be wealthy. Um, but I uh, saw an opportunity knocking doors, selling solar, dropped out, left it all. Can I ask a question yeah. real quick? Because this is important. A lot of people are saying, okay, I was going to be this ophthalmologist, right? Yep. If I said that right. Ophthalmologist, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and obviously, uh, you're going to be a doctor, yep. right? Um, your family's doctors. And when you say, I'm not going to be a doctor anymore, I'm yep. going to go knock doors and sell solar. Okay. Like, like what does that look like? Yeah. I just want to ask, because a lot of people, like, when I present this opportunity, okay, like, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, well, I yeah. want a great opportunity. I want to make a lot of money. I want to make a million dollars a year. But I don't want to sell solar. Can can yeah. we can we just talk about yeah. that for a minute? Like 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 why did you not become the doctor? Why did you go this road? What were you process? You're very analytical. Yeah. He says, look, dude, when I learn something, I want to teach it right away. He's like, I learned this shit for six years. Now I'm I feel confident enough to yeah. teach it. He's been able to teach it for a long time. Okay, but like he doesn't do something until you're ready. So how did you know that that was the way to go? And then what would you tell anybody when they're thinking about like giving up this for that? Like, how did you process that? Yeah. I feel like for me, I remember a specific day in high school. It was probably like, I was probably 16. And I think we we're in economics or something. I don't know. Some class where we had computers. And uh, I was just Googling, like, highest paying medical salaries. And because I was trying to figure out what path I was going to go. And that's the path I knew that people made money. And, uh, you know, it was a path that I liked. And uh, I remember seeing, like, highest paying job in that field was half a million bucks mm. and my parents didn't make a lot of money i think combined they made like 
120,000 probably mm -hmm. grown up. So I, I, I'm not coming from the space where 500,000 is, is not a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But to me, even at 16 years old, I just thought, oh man, that's like, it's done. Like 500 th and then it's over. Yeah. That's the most, you cap. know? And I just felt it at that point, this cap that was like, wow, this, this is a good path. 500,000 is great, but I don't like being capped. Well, I think a lot of our people want to reach for more. Yeah. But maybe they think that it's not an option. For yeah. Them. Hey guys, Andy Elliott. I'm sure you heard of the big two to three day event Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins just released on the internet, right? And by the way, I put that offer below. It's life changing. But guess what? The people that take action on this link below, I'm going to give them $40,000 in training for free. They're giving a money back guarantee offer on Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins training link below that their training will change your life. If not, they'll give you your money back. I'm adding all these bonuses because I'm partnering with them. and. I'm giving it all to you for free. And even if you get your money back, you keep all my stuff for free. That's how crazy this is. I'm gonna be doing three Zoom calls for one hour, how to build your courses, how to create content, literally how I generate 150 million views on social media every 30 days, how I get 1,500 leads a day organically into my company with zero ad spend or media spend. And by the way, see this book I'm holding in my hand? I'm gonna give you this entire book right here. It's how to build a $100 million business and you're gonna have it A to Z. It's yours. Guys, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm telling you right now, I changed my life. My family's in a good place. I never imagined that things like this could happen for a guy like me. I don't care what you've been through. Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi's training below will change your life. I'm going to give you all of this $40,000 in training for free. Better than money back guaranteed. Click on the link below. Change your life now. So for me, you know, I, I that was the path that I was going to go down. I, I liked the eyes. You know, I thought this would be a good path. So I, I go to school. And I was in there for just a couple months. I, was, I made it through like half a semester and uh, got introduced to solar. And obviously my family was passionate about school. The doctor thing sounded great to my parents. All that sounds great. Knocking doors was not the, <laughs> you know, sure. the future that they thought. But, uh, you know, the guy that introduced me, Justin, one of our business partners, um, he was making half a million dollars a year selling solar. And I grew up with this guy and I know this guy. And I'm like, man, if you can make half a million dollars selling solar, I, I know I can make half a million dollars because I know you. I know yeah. you're no different from me, you know? Yeah. So he says he's making half a million. And my goal is to make half a million after 10 years of medical school. And thinking back on it, you know, today I would be in school still. From then to today, That's I would so still crazy, be in school. Man. And to think about that is just wild. And I have friends that, uh, you know, they, they're like, oh, maybe I'll try solar one day, but I'm just going to finish school first. I'm going to stick it out. I need to get my degree. They're still in school. And I feel like I've lived a whole life, you know, in the last, obviously I haven't, but the last eight years I've experienced more, grown more, learned more than all these guys without school. Uh, so, you know, I had, I had a There's guy a kind of, kind of education, very different kind For, of education. Formal education yeah. is, is a kind of a thing of the past. I don't want to say that negatively, but well, book, start, a book smarts education. versus street yeah. smarts. If yeah. Well, it should be. I mean, but, but I think for me, you know, I just always had that little, I don't know, spark that like, I don't want to be capped. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, I don't want to be capped. I and and I'm just never going to be content with a cap. Uh -huh. So when I saw this opportunity pop up, that was, Hey, this is what I'm making. And I'm like, I know you, and I know there's no cap. It was, it was really, it was a big deal to, you know, drop the scholarship, obviously lose the scholarship and kind of kiss that path goodbye. It was obviously a big decision, but I didn't hesitate. I was I both feet that. in all the way in. I saw this as a path to where I wanted to go at a much faster clip. And so, you know, and I went and I, I had my preliminary goals. My first goal, like I said, my parents were making probably 120, 150 a year combined. So I wanted to make 150,000 a year and passed that my first year. And I, I felt like, that did it now now what do i do you know so i bought some toys that i always wanted and made a new goal and my second goal was three hundred thousand a year so let's double it you know and then pass that and then i got hit with the taxes and it was like oh my gosh i don't know anything about this life you know i and like you said i didn't i really didn't have a mentor teaching me hey man you're gonna make a bunch of money and when you make money this is what's gonna happen and you're gonna have to pay these taxes if you don't do this or this you know and this is where you should put money. I didn't have that person. So, you know, in our group over at Meraki, I feel like I kind of was that person figuring it out and sharing that with others. Mm. And I, I really liked that. Yeah. So for me, you know, now that's what I'm most passionate about. I, I want guys to come. I'm an open book and I'm happy to share all the knowledge that I've gained. I'm going to keep learning for the next 70 oh, yeah. years. Right. But you come and hang out with me. I would love that because I've got a lot of knowledge that I know that can help you. 
I don't know that you need it or that you want it, but like if Noah comes and spends dinner with me and asks a bunch of questions, I love that. I want to share all the knowledge that I've gained because I didn't have that person to kind of lead me through there. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of Noah and some of these other guys that I've recruited, I, we've created lives for ourselves that I didn't know existed, existed yeah. when I was going to the medical field. Right. So crazy, dude. And it's crazy. You're 28 and you had a choice and a lot of people won't make those choices because they're being judged by other people when they make those choices. Yeah. But you stuck to your gut. And if anybody's watching this, right? Like if you think you're made for more, like if you think you're made for more, if you think there's more out there, like you've got to be around people like Noah and Max, you have, you have to, it's the, it's, it's the rule. Okay. Who you're around, you have to cut people out of your life when, you know, when negativity is around, when, when you're not getting to where you want to go, yeah. it could be you, you could be the problem, which I see that a lot. <laughs> people are the problem or someone else could be the problem. So you need to go fix yourself in the mirror or you need to cut someone out, but also you need to add somebody. Yeah. I always tell people, I'm like, they're always like, who do I need to cut out? Well, you need to self-correct. You need to cut some people out, but then also you need to add somebody new. For sure. And you need to add somebody that sees something in you that other people don't see in you. And Absolutely. I think that's what I like about Meraki. Like you guys see these young men and, and even 50 year olds, you see these people that are ready to change, change who have their potential. Life. Yeah. Who have potential, you know, and your and his story is pretty crazy. You know, um, you said 30 years old, you had your, your heart cracked open, your chest cracked open. I did. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, and you, a near death experience in life. Um, and you said you should be dead. And the fact that you're not, you said you see life differently now. Absolutely. And I think if you can get a buddy like that, that sees this perspective of life, how great it is, you cling to you, you cling to somebody like you that's willing to mentor, teach. You're in this boat where this earning opportunity is uncapped and it's relentless. Yeah. How the hell can you fail? Yeah. Absolutely. You can't. You know, um, so talk to us a little bit about some of the people because I know you run a big region, hey. right? Uh, you're in Florida. Most of your men, all of them, they're in Florida with you. Is that right? They are. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let's talk about some stories, some people's lives that you've changed. Um, you know, maybe, maybe people that come from rough parts of life or people that are even young and haven't got to experience, you know, what is it like working with Meraki? By far one of the, the most rewarding parts is, is being able to change people's lives. Right. And, and people who thought that they were going to be stuck in a certain, certain, I don't want to call it class, but certain setting, you know, mm -hmm. and that, that they either don't understand the opportunity that sales <laughs> is, or they feel like sales is something different than it actually is, right? Mm -hmm. And for me, I mean, I, to share some of that story is, is uh, I got a degree in finance, um, so took the more traditional route because I'm a little bit older than most of our guys, and got on with a big financial firm right away and was in their top 5%, but couldn't get over 150, 175,000. They, mm -hmm. they kept you there as a organization right mm -hmm. uh, and then I got on with a with a huge home services company same thing I, I ran a sales division but capped at like a hundred grand right and I mm -hmm. took the most appointments I had a decent sized team and it was just really it was capped right and when I turned 30 I had this this crazy thing happen to me um, where I thought I was in good shape I was I was biking a few mi like 10 miles 15 miles every day over a couple causeways. I felt like I was in really good shape. And one Friday afternoon, I was just way tired. I was much more tired than I've ever been. And I got home and I sat on the couch and I fell asleep and I woke up on that Sunday morning. So I had slept longer than I've ever slept in my life. And I woke up and I was soaked like head to toe and I knew something was, was seriously wrong at that point. I called the ambulance and I spent almost the next year in the hospital. And Are you serious? my heart valve had collapsed. Mm. Um, mm. And when that happens, your everything shuts down, right? My kidneys were shut down. My blood was all messed up. It was, it was bad. Um, they put me in under for a, a decent period of time. I lost 50 pounds, 60 pounds. I could fit, fit my hand around my thighs. By the time I got at it, it was, it was pretty serious. But I, I came through on the other side, and, and what's interesting is through, through all of it, I never thought that it was that serious. I knew something was wrong, but I, was not, I didn't think it was lethal wrong. I thought it was just like, oh, I'm sick, you know? Well, nine months later, ten months later, it's like, okay, well, 
maybe I'm really sick, <laughs> right? And so finally, when I was healthy enough to have the surgery, we, we got it done. And, and that's when the doctors were finally <laughs> like, you are incredibly lucky to be alive, right? Most people that have that surgery don't make it because you're, the, the valve has a bunch of stuff growing on it. And, and when they remove it, it essentially sends a shock through your body and most, most people don't wake up. And so hmm. realizing that all of a sudden, it, and it sounds like it's out of a movie, all of a sudden, like food tasted better and the sky was prettier and birds sounded pretty. And I wanted to spend time with my parents and like life would, I, I refused to sleep. I would get up at five in the morning and, and not want to go to bed at night. It was the most exciting. And it's weird to, to prescribe a, a, a life changing, a near death experience in order to, to, you know, move yourself in that direction. But I, I truly believe that everybody either needs to have that happen to them or, or like we talked about earlier, have someone close to them and, and not that I would wish that on anybody, of course, but it's, it's it so powerful. It, it's just, a, it just seems that it almost takes that because we just take so many things for granted. For granted, absolutely. Over the term of our life. 1,000%, 1,000%. Here's Andy, five years ago, he was a car salesman. He went to one of our first events we first started, quit selling cars. He's one of the fastest growing sales training organizations in the country. He's this year on target, he tells us to do $100 million in revenue. That's extreme. Hey guys, you just heard it from Tony Robbins himself. He just said it. Literally a $100 million business we built in the last four years from Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins freaking training. It's your turn right now. They just released an offer to the world, which you can click the link below and get right now, but stop because I'm gonna give you a better than money back guarantee and I'm adding all kinds of bonuses to it, all right? So holding in my hand right now is a book. It's called the $100 million A to Z and Elliott build. This is the empire build. You want a $10 million business? Cool. You want to build a hundred? I've got it per year and I'll give it to you on my way to a billion. It'll teach you how to generate 150 million views every 30 days on social media. It'll show you how to build a sales team. I'm going to teach you how to become the world's greatest salesperson. Three hours of Zoom training, me teaching you how to I create my courses. How do I create my memberships? How do I form and make my offers? I'm going to show you how to do it. If you can make one hour a week, one hour a week work, I can show you how to make an additional hundred grand a week. So I love you guys. I'm going to give you all these bonuses, literally $40,000 is in bonuses for free money back guarantee better than money back, which means even if you return Dean's and Tony's training that you buy below, even if you return it, you get to keep all mine for free. Okay. You can't beat that anywhere in the world. It worked for me. It's going to work for you. Click on the link below. We'll get you guys set up now. Let's change your family's life. And so mm. what I realized is by the time I, it took me another six months to get nursed back to health. And I really felt like there was something missing. It's like I, I had been in the top 5% of, of both of these huge companies, but I was a cog in the machine and I wanted to find something better. And I knew I had a lot of potential. I just needed to find the outlet. And by random, random chance, I was, I knocked a door, uh, which was a, a preset appointment with Max and Justin and a couple of their other sales guys at the time they had just moved my, to Florida that my wife signed up for at Home Depot. Thanks, Liv. But, Appreciate but it. So, Shout out to my wife. Yeah. So, so you, but you hit the door that Max and them were, at. and and they were having a sales meeting there. <laughs> no way. Yep. Yeah. So what that? And, what, and what, so, what did that end up? So I I start snooping around, asking them what they're doing. Oh, we're having a sales meeting. No big deal. Just go ahead and and you know do your your presentation and and we'll try not we'll try to pay attention to one of those things. <laughs> And of course they bought because I'm a closer and, <laughs> and when we're filling out the credit application, I see these numbers that I have, I mean, I'd been in financial services for 10 years. I've been in home services for five years. Like I've seen some decent credit applications. I've never seen these consistently on, on, you know, three or four or five people. And so I said, wait a second, wait, what do you guys do for a living? Oh, we knock doors. <laughs> Cause yes, I knocked that door, but it was a preset appointment through that company. Right. So I said, wait, you knock doors for a living? You do what? And, oh, we sell solar. Solar? Like solar panels? Wait, I don't understand this. And I said, well, I can make that kind of money knocking doors, selling solar. A week later, I was on board. Yep. I love it. But I started from the ground. I started, and, and yeah, I was, I, at the previous job, I was capped at about 100 grand. And I knew that, that essentially what was pitched is, is if you, if you are, are dedicated, you, you put in your max effort in in three to six months, you can triple your income. And for me, like there was not a, 
there wasn't a single way with with what I had access to at the time for me to triple my income. It was it was not possible. Yeah. So I said, show me the way. Like, I'll, if if I'll, if you can do it, I can do it. Same thing. And for me, that way, and it wasn't triple. It was. 12 times 12 the income. Times, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it was it, way better than they told you. Way better. Um, way better. Let's go back through this one more time because I think this is important. Anybody watching this, I want you to think about if you have any of these characteristics or if you think you can do this. Um, again, tell us what was the requirement? Hard work. Dedication. Okay, so like if – are you willing to work hard? Right. Okay, are, so you, like are, you down, like, are you a hard worker? Like do you, Will you outwork the next guy standing? You know, if you're up against somebody else, you can outwork them, yes or no? Okay. All right. So if you're willing to do that, right. um, you, you talked about character, like just being a good person. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So one of the beautiful things about solar <laughs> in general is that you can make an outstanding living and you can sleep extremely well at night knowing that you mm. help somebody literally with something that they probably didn't have access to otherwise. Right. Yeah. You can, you're not asking them to spend money. You're asking them to save money. Yeah, because they're already spending. It. Exactly, yep. exactly. And we can help them with projects like we, we're fully in-house roofing, we're fully in-house HVAC, so we can help them with other projects that we can build in that they, nine times out of ten, didn't have the money for in the first mm. place. And that's when you get hugs at the end. That's when you get high yeah. fives at the end. And that's when you can walk out the door being like, I really helped somebody. That feels amazing, you know? Yeah. Can you uh, can you go in, because you, you've been in sales, you've ran sales team, sales teams and stuff, and you've sold stuff, right? I have. But really, like, you, you don't really sell anything in Meraki. You really educate people, right? Absolutely. Right, because selling is a service. Your, your service is educating people, right? Right. So, like, anybody doesn't even have to be a very good salesman, right? Because you guys, I've noticed you guys don't, you, you love great salespeople. Like, you love people yeah. that can communicate effectively. You like people that can tell stories and they can laugh and have fun and they, they're likable and they have confidence. And salespeople have a lot of that stuff. But you, you guys like people that, are just willing to be dedicated, yep. work hard, and learn the product, right? Right, and have character. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt the video. If you're listening to my buddies here who are kicking ass, and you're like, man, I want to kick ass with them. I would love to join a great organization, great leaders like this. I want Max to teach me everything that he's talking about. I want to earn more money. You guys are going to see a link in the description box below. Go down to the description, okay? You're going to see a little link in the YouTube video. Just click on it. You guys will enter your information in. Someone will reach out from their company in the next 24 hours. Guys, this opportunity, it's there for the taking, okay? If you want to change your life, here's your chance. Let's get back to the video. Yeah. 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 And are honest, you yeah. know, honest, Ooh, honest, upstanding people, you know, yes. who, are, who want to do an honest day's work. But I'll say, you know, one thing that's very different about Meraki from other companies that I've yeah. uh, associated the, the with and I've ran with, but... Like we, uh, <laughs> if you have sales experience, great. We'd love to have you. And mm -hmm. I think we can provide a lot of value to you with sales experience. But mm -hmm. what I think we find the most satisfaction out of is getting guys who are making fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year, hundred thousand dollars a year. They have no idea that this opportunity or life is even possible to them. It's not tangible. Hustle Summit Two. It's right around the corner, y'all. What I want to do is get you in the room. Last time, Hustle Summit, the very first one. It was standing room only. We packed the house in less than 30 days. What I want you to do is don't take my word for it. Don't take my advice. Listen to what the people that actually showed up. Information has been on point that you can go home and actually start doing right now. We're part of Eric's coaching program, but his specific form of sales, he speaks well in teaching us what to do on these calls. The energy is super vibrant. Obviously, Eric's bringing up all the heat here. To get my frequency up, man, this has been the perfect place. High energy levels, man, so it's it's going great so far. The energy is infectious. The people, everybody's here is ready to get after it. Everybody here is wanting to make a change in their life or their business. You're walking into a different reality. I know that he has a track record of doing this business at a high level. So salespeople respect high-level salespeople. Hustle Summit Live. Make sure you're at the next one. And for those of you that are wondering, is this for me? Yes, this is for you. Whether you're just thinking about getting started in the wholesale industry, you're working that nine to five, you're in the rat race wondering, how do I get out of this? You may be a wholesaler that just can't get consistent results or you're thinking about building a team and you don't know where to go from here. Or all you realtors out there wondering, can I get out of the traditional real estate and go into the wholesaling where I hear about these big, fat, juicy spreads that my commissions 
possibly couldn't equate to. If that is for you, you're qualified to put your ass in the room. And for everybody that's wondering, where is Hustle Summit 2 gonna be? It's in Scottsdale, Arizona, y'all, at the Lion's Den, Andy Elliott's office. I'm telling you, this is the place that you want to be. I'm gonna show you how to consistently make between 20 to $100,000 a year, like clockwork, so you can finally get paid what you're worth. Scottsdale, Arizona, the lion's den. You know, and we... Could you imagine making... I know you can, because... But could you imagine making 80 grand a year? No? Yeah, yeah. But, like, but like, how do you operate? I'm not being... This isn't negative, right? But, like, with with gas, with a car payment... Oh, it's with, a big deal. With trying to save money, with a house payment. With a family. With... Or, yeah, if you have a family, with <laughs> with going and enjoying life. Because you're, you're made to live. Like, you might yeah. be alive, but are you living? Yeah. Right? Like, I don't want to be alive and then be in prison and I'm working to just be alive. Like, there's a difference between yeah. living. Living is creating experiences and having fun and doing stuff. Like, you just, you can't do that, right? Like, it doesn't, it's, it's, and people say, well, no, dude, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to do all that. Yes, you do. Your family wants a good life. How, how much is your family? Do you have a family? I do. Okay, how much has your family's life changed since you've gotten in solar? Unbelievably With Meraki. So. Unbelievably Since you've joined Meraki, T tell us some of the things that have changed with your family. Uh, we've had opportunities that we've never had. I mean, uh, number one, being able to work as hard as I want is, is unique as well because even with two previous sales organizations, you were still put into boxes, right? Mm -hmm. Now I have the opportunity to, to find my max potential, right? And so I believe in work hard, play hard, right? Is, is I, got Such to I got to where I am because I outworked everyone uh -huh. like 1000%. And you get to enjoy it. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I mean being able to at the drop of the hat, you know, go down to Patagonia. We did that last year. That's unreal, right? Mm -hmm. Uh invest in things you never thought that would be possible. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, I'm my father's also a physician, wanted me to go that route. I went straight into sales. I like sales better. <laughs> and I bet you and your dad have some interesting conversations, you and your mom, about what you thought was going to happen and what's happening now. And I'm sure now they're like, I can't believe what you're doing. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, it, it probably took three years for my parents to stop telling me, like, you know, you can go back to school. It's okay to go back, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going back. This is working great. Know. But, yeah, I mean, for me, I think one of the big changes – and, I mean, I'm really close to my parents, and they would – you know, they're proud of me whichever way. But yeah. um, I finished their basement out for them. It probably cost like $100,000 to do, and it was a Christmas present. And um, I like giving big Christmas presents like that because I feel like they've given me everything. They set me up for this opportunity even though they didn't know it. And uh, no. I'm going to give it back, right? And so yeah. at that point, they were like, oh, my – maybe this thing is – maybe it's real, you know, because they just – you know, they didn't, they hadn't seen anything before. And, uh, you know, then now I got them, we got to Florida, bought them a house on the water. Like they're living the, you're changing the your, lifestyle that yeah, I want them to bloodline. retire into, you know, like, so yeah. I think, um, talking to them and talking to my in-laws is a perfect example of these perspectives that I'm trying to change. And, you know, like my, my father-in-law is convinced that he's going to be a Home Depot greeter until the day he dies. So he's going to work. And then when he gets to retirement age, he's going to work for Home Depot until the day he dies. That's just, it's programmed. That's what my stepdad does. So like my, so, you know, <laughs> so at, at work, at work, my goal and my vision is to take these guys that are hungry and they want to make money and to open their eyes to what's possible. You know, we just need to open the eyes. If you're willing to work hard, there's a life out there that you don't know exists and we can show you how to get there so that's at work and then at home i've got my parents and in-laws that i'm like you do not have to work every day of your life yeah like this does not have to be your reality you know and so i'm trying to inspire them that look you don't have to be a home depot greeter until the day you die and he loves camping backpack he wants mm -hmm. to be outdoors i can't imagine him being at home depot like let's live no life you know yeah. let's stop working we don't we want to you know one day you're going to stop working and you're going to go live. And that's, you know, at home, that's my passion. I'm trying to get them to see this vision. Well, I think so many people go to school and then they think when I graduate, then the real life starts. Like I'm going to kick ass. 
and then they get out in this world and right now like there's not a lot in of the people rat race. kicking ass yeah, yeah. and things the move so fast that honestly people can't even think for themselves anymore yep right school turns you into ants you know school you need a lot of ants to run a colony and school pumps ants into the colony yeah and there's only so many you know queen bees out there <laughs> Well, yeah, well, the well, you, run in the hive, you know. Well, and you said uh, you said a cog, right? Cog in the machine. Yeah, yeah, in the machine. You're the book Lynchman. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're, so we're reading it. No, we just yeah, read it. Yeah. Just read it. That's yeah. company. Such a good book. Yeah. It is. And so when you said that, I was like, well, that reminds me of the book Lynchman. Right. And it talks about to a revolution of change, right? To stand out, to be different, to make connections others can't. To be an artist. Um. Yeah. To yep. be an artist. To use your your genius, your unique self. Uh, one of the things I like about solar is, or I like, and especially talking about Meraki, is you get an opportunity to actually create, like, this charisma about yourself by shaking people's hands and meeting new people that honestly will carry into every area of your life. Your children, you can teach them the skill of communication, which I think is the greatest skill on planet Earth. Yep. And you learn that in, in, in what you do with Meraki. You learn to communicate with people. And by the way, God made us all to communicate together. So... People are like, I don't want to talk to people. Well, that doesn't even make sense. You do want to talk to people. The problem is that people don't communicate. People can't communicate effectively. Yeah. Your relationship in your marriage with your wives will be amazing if you know how to communicate. If you don't know how to communicate, it will be a sack of crap. You have it to will be, be a, a good challenge. Human. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, well, you can't work through something. Right. If you can't communicate with your kids, they won't respect you. They won't look up to you. They won't do what you say. You, you can't ask for a raise. You can't. Do, you can't do anything if you can't communicate. I think Meraki is honestly one of the greatest ways to learn to communicate, to make more money. And then let's go into like, what are y'all standards? You know, you said, hey, if I could make three times more, like I'll quit my job right now. And then he's like, I made 10 times more. I made 12 times more. What the hell's going on? Yeah. Like, okay, cool. What did you do? You worked hard. Your, all your finance degree and all that stuff and everything you had, you didn't even use it. Did not use it. You, you, <laughs> yeah. you communicated. And by the way, like we need doctors, right? Like we need yeah, eye absolutely. doctors, you know? We need financial people. But we also need people that will go a different road, that will help. I mean, you know what I love about you guys being a leader in sales? Is that everybody is qualified to get into the sales industry. Every. Yeah, and so you man. guys being leaders, like if you were a doctor, I'm going to be honest, you can help a lot of people and that's cool. Yeah. But you're not going to lead a big army. And you couldn't nope. lead a bunch of other people to change their family bloodline and their genes. Yep. Like it can't happen. But you guys are doing that now. You guys are taking normal people and you're making them unnormal. Yeah. Right? I, I think that, that communication as a skill, as a muscle, can be exercised, right? Oh, yeah. And I think there's different levels of, you know, somebody who naturally has the gift of gap can come in and absolutely crush it. And somebody who might be a little more timid but has the desire to do it mm -hmm. can exercise that muscle and get better. And yeah, for sure. Well, anything that you can learn is a skill. Yeah. Right. It's, all, it's all learned. Yeah, it's all I, was, I was about to say, like, you know? like, like all these skills that you have, it's not like, oh, he's so skilled. No. He learned all that. Yeah. He watched someone else do it, repetition, and now you're the teacher. Yeah. Because you know how to do it. And I think back, yes, about, you know, what are the qualifications to join Meraki? And we said, you know, you just got to be a good person willing to work hard. And I think back to numerous, new, I mean, probably in the, in the teens of people that I personally have recruited – in my personal life experience, buying cars or buying water, you know, just every day me living that I've recruited out of situations that they were not thriving in. You know, the guy mm. that I'm buying my car from, he's weeks away from having his truck repossessed. He's working hard. He's trying, but he's not making it, you know, and then I'm able to help him <laughs> see the vision and open his eyes to the opportunity and then lead him, you know, to this new life where that's not a problem anymore. And I, I can think of 10, maybe maybe 12 guys that have come from that situation of my car is getting repossessed or I'm three months late on my mortgage mm -hmm. that are millionaires now, you know, that have complete, I mean, that is a complete change. Like Noah said, 12 times the income they were making before or, or more, you know, depending on where they're at. And there was nothing special about any of these people. No offense. Noah, no, you're I, amazing. I, I, but, I, but I agree. We're all just people you know, figuring out life, trying to learn, trying to be better. And I think all that it takes is that you have a desire to be better. Right. There's people out there that are just stagnant and they just don't really care to be better. They don't care to grow. They're just looking for a paycheck and show up and go home. And you they know? settle. And they settle. And our job 
everyone's job here that wants to lead is to get them to open their eyes and see that there's a bigger life out mm -hmm. there for them specifically that they can get. And so, you know, we need to help them. And that's what we're here for. I mean, I, I we're looking for guys that just are willing to work hard and want to change their reality, whatever it is today. It doesn't have to be that. Uh, but if you're not willing to work hard and you don't have that that chip on your shoulder, Meraki's probably not the place well, for plus, you. If you're not a hard worker, I've noticed a lot of people, if they have the right opportunity, they are willing to work really hard. Yeah, sure. Listen, if I worked... And you'd be inspired. Yeah, as I yeah. say, if I worked really hard and I knew that everybody made the same check... Right. And there was no value yeah. in working harder, well, I might not work very hard. I might just be conditioned to not work hard. Yeah. Um, you, guys, you guys are Christians, right? Yep. Okay. You guys believe in God. And in the Bible, it talks about being fishers of men. Right. So when you say recruit, I wanted to let everybody know what that meant because there's a lot of people that aren't in an industry where there's recruiting. People say, well, what does recruiting mean? Recruiting means that you believe in someone and you want to yep. take them along the journey with you and you want to help lead them in life. Yep. That's all. Like, So everybody watching this right now, fishers are men. It's like, okay, do you want a better life? If you do, let's they do want life you to together. join them. Yeah. Let's do life together. Uh, let's teach you how to save money on your taxes, which he had to figure out. Let's teach you that, you know, skill is learned, which means everything that they teach you in their company is learned. Yep. It's very easy. Are you a good person? Do you want to do things right? Do you want to sleep good at night? That you sales know? can be used for good. Oh, totally. Yeah, right. For sure. And I think yeah. that, that it, a lot of people who haven't been exposed to sales or have just seen it through a you know, like the traditional used car salesman can can say, ah, you know, that's not for me. I need to be a more traditional role, a doctor, a lawyer, whatever. And it, it, people who are leaders, people who are are capable of, of doing better, bigger things can find that sales is an amazing tool to do all the things that they wanted without those limits that they had in these other places. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt the video. If you're listening to my buddies here who are kicking ass and you're like, man, I want to kick ass with them. I would love to join a great organization, great leaders like this. I want Max to teach me everything that he's talking about. I want to earn more money. You guys are going to see a link in the description box below. Go down to the description. OK, you're going to see a little link in the YouTube video. Just click on it. You guys will enter your information and someone will reach out from their company in the next 24 hours. Guys, this opportunity, it's there for the taking. OK, if you want to change your life. Here's your chance. Let's get back to the video. And, and, and I was going to say, I've learned who you're around will determine what you use your sales for. Right. Yep. For sure. Right. So like, it's good if you're around bad people and you're learning sales and you might sell some <laughs> bad shit. Right. Yeah. Right. Or do bad things with right. sales um, or manipulate uh, in a bad way. Yeah. But when you're around good people and you learn sales, you become persuasive to help people. Right. Yep. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And right now, right now we've got about 500 guys and girls, about mm -hmm. 500 reps out there. Some are more experienced, some are veterans, some are brand new, mm -hmm. you know, and, and all these people are looking to change their life. And so what I, I've got family members and friends who reach out and like, Hey man, I'm thinking about switching it up. What should I do? And it's always, man, come join the team. Yeah. Like we've got 500 people that want to kick ass yeah. that want to change their reality of where they're at today. Yeah. And when you get in a group like that, it's contagious. It, yeah. It's harder to withstand the group than it is to just go with it. You know, we've got 500 guys that are willing to work hard. They're going to help each other get out to work that day. Mm -hmm. You know, no one's babysitting you, but it's like, bro, let's go work. You know, you think about not working. You got guys that are helping you get out the door because they see your yeah, potential. You have a team. Working you have with a team. team is so much fun. It's so yeah. important that I don't understand how sales companies can just put like solo guys. Here's your territory check in by phone once a, once a week that's why they keep failing well, right. and those guys will never reach their full potential yeah ever yeah they keep failing yeah and um you know i've, I've been to y'all's events the big events how you guys take care of your people you know i mean how much cash did you give away on stage last year i was at your a event lot. Yeah, it was a lot. i can't remember over a hundred thousand but uh, guys listen i literally uh <laughs> went out it was in uh, florida um, yeah. where was it in tampa or orlando? Uh, it was in orlando yeah. oh yeah we we're in orlando number one it treated was awesome. the whole company to this amazing, you know, day, event, everything's going on, dinners, families, wife, kids, just, yeah. everybody's kicking butt. Um, and then I'm, you guys gave away all kinds of crap, right? Which was like really cool stuff. And it's all expensive. It's all this, it's all that. And then I'm, and then I watched you give away, you know, it seemed like, you know, a hundred grand easily in cash just to the people who are working hard. And I was like, man, this is cool. Yeah. Like, this is cool, man. I mean, this is like, 
adults having fun. Everybody's <laughs> making a lot of money. Everybody's doing life together. And it's like, I was, it was honestly just like yeah. and uh, an environment and a culture that I haven't really seen ever. Getting, getting younger every day together. Being on that yeah. stage, though, and being recognized for working extremely hard is life-changing. Is, Facts. Is contagious. It's, is exhilarating. Mm-hmm. It's being on stage, getting an award for being the top sales rep is better than any money. Yeah. No, <laughs> for seriously, sure. yeah. And, and, sure. and your team has so much energy and everybody's so loving and everybody's so cool, you know, and you're married, right? Yeah. Um, three two, kids, three kids. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. I mean, you know what I love about Max? He's young. When I think of 28 year olds, you know, people are like, Oh, 28 year olds running around. No, dude, you're married. You got three kids. You, you take life serious. You love yep. your, your family, man. You love growing people, you know? Um, you're ultra analytical. Like every time I was talking to you, it's always like dotting the I's crossing the T's <laughs> doing this, but you also have a lot of fun. Yeah. And you love you. I feel like you let everybody in your company have the freedom to be who they want to be as long as they get the job done and they stay honest. Yeah. And that's huge. And that's by right. the way, it's good. That's what America was built on. That's that's the good stuff. Yeah. Like you Makes guys, you feel good. Yeah. yeah we, you the warm we, and fuzzies. For yeah. sure. And we have a ton of fun. Just last week, we flew all the managers out who were hitting numbers to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Uh, and had a big leadership retreat, brought yeah, the wives, see. you know, with, and I had six of them with me, uh, you know, flying private to Puerto Rico and just to have that intimate time together was amazing. Yeah. Uh, it Dude, was just... Most people never get to fly private. In their life. <laughs> I think Max has got an airplane he's a, yeah, and he's a good pilot. We flew yeah. here today. We flew here today. We'll see. So, so let's, let's, well, that's let's... what I mean, man. The, 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 the yeah. possibilities. Yeah. Who are you running with? So, yeah. And by the way, guys, do you understand when we do these, uh, I'm going to call these podcasts, you guys get the opportunity to meet really cool people. And these really cool people, like growing up, like if I saw someone who was really cool, it's like they're on the news and I'm never going to meet those people and I can't see those people. Or even 15 years ago or even 10 years ago, if I see somebody really cool, like you can't join those people. Right. Yeah. Right? Like it's like watching a football team. Or a yeah, movie yeah. star. Or somebody movie who's star. Like, like, oh, I can't that meet sounds those people. Cool, but yeah. I hope I uh, figure it out over here. Yeah. Wherever I am, <laughs> but you can't join those. We're alive in a really neat time right now where someone can literally say, okay, I want to change my life. Okay. And if that's you and you're listening to these stories and you're like, well, I wish, well, number one, don't wish I'm ready to tell my new story, right? I'm ready to recreate like yours change. You knocked on their door. God put this podcast in front of a lot of people, just like he made that appointment set for yeah. you to go pitch max and all of them. Right. And when that happened, uh, they talked about some financial numbers. They talked about this life. You saw they were having fun. You're like, why ain't I doing this shit? And then, um, you know, somebody's watching this right now. And they're like, well, why is it my life like this? Stop. I'm asking ask you a question. Why isn't your life like this? Oh, it can okay? be. It absolutely can be. Yeah, I want to ask everybody a question. This is a good one. And, you know, we'll kind of wrap this up and I'll ask you guys some stuff. But, like, are you guys happy? Like, I always ask people, like, are you happy? Do you want to be happier? Yeah, but like ask people if they're happy. Like a lot of people, honestly, Aren't happy. they're not happy. No, sure. Okay, cool. Let me give you a life that will make you happy. Be around good people that want to see you win. That'll make you happy. Be around people that are good people. That'll make you happy. Be around people that care about you. That'll make you happy. Know that when you go to work, which all of you are going to work, okay, know that you can actually row in a boat and it will take you somewhere. Yeah. And you can love your job. That's which is which is uh, it's amazing right i mean it, it, i liked my job i enjoyed sales it wasn't until i found meraki that i i've said so many times i love my job yeah it's amazing i work with amazing people we do amazing stuff and our company's awesome like yeah it doesn't even feel like you're working and, does it, it? No, and my wife gives me a hard time about it all the time she's yeah. like oh you're having so much fun at work i like i am at work <laughs> i'm sorry i, I swear i'm working yeah. she's like well, I we know are you're working fun. i see yeah. your check yeah. <laughs> but you don't look like people who work. Yeah. Right. We, yeah. we hang out professionally is what we do. Yeah. And you're really good at what you do. And, and that's helping people. Yeah. And so and I we just, work hard. I mean, we do work hard. Yes. Well, you have to. By the way, yeah. anybody that wants any of this stuff that we're talking about. You got to work hard. You have to work hard. The problem is, is that I know a lot of people right now that do work hard yeah. and they're in the wrong boat. And no matter how hard they work, that boat is not going to take putting all the effort in the wrong place. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, yeah. my dad worked for 30 years um, and he retired and he worked really hard for 65 grand a year. Yep. There's nothing wrong with that. 
But the point is, is that if he would have put that same work, that same time, and let's say, hypothetically, this opportunity was available for my father. What if my father could have worked the same time? He didn't work anymore, but he worked the same time, and it would have made him 400 grand a year. Yeah. Dude, well, number one, my dad could have worked 15 years right. or 10 instead of 30. Or he could have worked 30, and when he was done, he could have lived the next 25 years of his life. Very magical. Right. Yeah. He could have done different stuff. We never took a vacation growing up. Yeah. Okay, my dad never drew, drove a new car. My dad, we, ne we didn't even have air, air conditioning growing up in our house. Um, shit just costs money. So you decide what's what, right? Yeah. But my deal is, is that when you have opportunities like this, you, you have choices. Money gives you choices. And by the way, when you're around good people and you become a good person, you learn to make good decisions with the money that you make. And all of a sudden you look up, you're telling other people your story. Now everybody wants to be like you. All because you made a decision, you joined the right team, joined the right organization, joined the right company. Yeah. Um, I wanted to share you guys with the world today. I wanted to make sure that everybody and anybody that that follows me or that you know you study and you see maybe the life that I'm living or you see the people I hang out with or you see the fun that we have, and you're like, damn, man, one day I'm going to get my chance. Okay, cool, here it is. All you got to do, it's as simple. There's a link in the description box. You just fill the information out so they know how to get a hold of you. They'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours when somebody calls you, if you're a good person, if you care, if you want to be honest. Hey, by the way, if someone out there hasn't been who they wanted to be, but they're ready to make that change now, I found that those people go really far in a company like yours. Yeah, absolutely. Because when you're around the right people and you make a decision to change, you good thrive. stuff happens. Yeah, you thrive, man. And, you know, kind of like how you uh, saw your life, you know, like fleeting and going away. It's like now you want it. And if somebody doesn't have the life they want right now, usually those people are hungry and they yeah. want it. Um, so uh, let's, let's, let's end it out with something. Um, I know you're in Florida. Florida's a beautiful place. It is. Um, I couldn't imagine anybody saying, damn, I just don't want to <laughs> go to Florida right. and make a lot of money. Yep. And, and God, Florida's I want to awesome. stay in and, and work outside Washington and talk to people for yeah. a living. Yeah. Yeah. Or Illinois yeah. or Texas. Uh, it's like, dude. Like I've seen how you guys live. It's like it's 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 paradise, right? Yeah. Um, but the main deal is is that they can reach out. Someone will contact them and tell them the options, the choices, and yep. they can take it from there. And you guys will take great care of them on the inside. Um, one thing. Uh, and, and, and for the record, no matter where you live, we, we've got a program for you. I was about so, to say, you guys have teams all over the no country. No matter where you live, we'll figure out yeah, a way. Yeah, he, he runs a big region in Florida. But there are teams all around the country, yeah. and there are many other good leaders um, that are just like my man Noah, okay? And these guys, they're they're waiting on people ready to change their lives. And when they do, they grasp onto them and they push them in the direction they want to go and they'll go with you. Yeah. Some of the best people I've met, unbelievable. Our conversations have always been super cool. You're self-development freaks. Um, you're always figuring out how to get your edge and get better. And that's the reason why we all hang around each other. Um, so I always like to introduce you to guys um, that can help change your life. This is your chance. Um, something you would say to anybody right now, right, that maybe isn't happy, right? Like Max, like one thing, one thing that isn't happy, that don't have what they want. Why, why, why take the risk now? Why do you think that these next three years are going to be a tipping point? Next four years, next five years, like yeah. why, like why do it now? Like, like if they're like, well, I can wait a couple years, right? Well, like let's finish school, you know, or something. Yeah. Like, like why do it now? I mean, personally, I, I believe in life. You've got opportunities. <laughs> that come up and they're there, but you have to choose whether you're going to grab onto it and ride with it or whether you're going to stay flat footed and let it scream on past you. You know, so for me, I had a huge opportunity. I didn't know it was big. I thought it was a huge risk and it was, but I jumped head first, two feet in, I left nothing behind and it ended up taking me here. Mm -hmm. You know, and so one of my greatest fears is having these opportunities pop up and I'm left flat footed and it screams by me and I never see it again. You know, it, it came around once for me in my life. I, you know, I watched this video, whatever, for whatever reason. I might not watch another one of these. And the opportunity comes past. I'm flat-footed. I don't react. And there goes that life, that fantasy life that I think is not real. You know, and so for me, that's my greatest – I'm terrified of missing out on these opportunities. So I see something that's looking promising. What's the, what's the risk? You know, what, what's it going to hurt you to see? see what this is like you see people living it people are successful Fast. you know people are out there kicking ass all over the place and if you're not you got to figure whatever you're doing right now is not the one so you see an opportunity come up 
freaking grab onto that thing and ride with it. And the crazy thing about this opportunity is that the opportunity that you've given all these people with you, the risk was much greater when you took it because yeah. this wasn't there. Yeah, we have six years of proven track record right. taking people from $50,000 a year to millionaires. Yeah. Six years of it. So it's it's sitting here. So you've built the, the, the bulletproof system. Yeah. Um, what's something you would say? Kind of along the line. Don't base your future on what your past looked like right mm -hmm. whatever you did before doesn't matter what you what you are capable of is all that is that is important you know what i mean people tend to make decisions based off their past not their future right yeah there's a book i read good book and we'll, we'll kill this out be your future best self now it's a really good book you guys finished linchpin next book is get, be your future best self now we'll get you guys a copy nice so good when you start reading it you're just going to want to slap yourself gonna be like dude life is so good i can't believe this I can't believe we can learn this and then apply it in, yeah. in this life and now right um so anyways we just it it reminds me one of our guys um who's been with us for a couple of years now but he he come from from more humble beginnings he was a a tree trimmer his whole family was tree trimmers nothing to do with sales feel like sales wasn't for him sales wasn't the the most upright industry and came in all in fully all in stayed real close to me and a couple other leaders and and inside of a year became the number one guy in our company and if he would have based it on what he was doing before he would have never had a chance but he said you know what i i know i can do this yeah and you, you said absolutely hard changed. worker absolutely. my top guy i ever trained back when i was in the automotive industry guy sold almost 100 cars a month every month he was making 300 dollars digging ditches when i hired him yep. he's wearing carhartt coats no one would even interview him because he's wearing car hard coat, car hard pants. He had mud all over him because he was digging ditches. And I was like, dude, that guy looks like a hard worker. <laughs> and I hired him, and he ended up being the number one guy. Just it just goes it to That's show it, yeah. the tree trimmer, the, the 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 ditch digger. It doesn't matter to me. Yep. Do you want to be a good person? Do you want to be in a great organization? Do you believe in yourself? You got to join the right people. So, guys, listen, I love you. We, uh, we introduce you, and I know you guys got a lot of value out of this, okay? Um, there's a link. You click on it. It's very simple. Next 24 hours, someone will reach out to you. Make sure you answer, okay? If you want something, right, be ready. What does that mean? That means these guys are going to take you to a whole nother level. Their story can be your story. And by the way, your story could be 10 times bigger, okay? Somebody told him he could 3X his money. You know, he 12 x it. Somebody told Max they could do this. He, he made it way bigger, Okay. All you got to do is be around the right people. That's the secret, okay? Um, so anyways, but I love you guys. You're amazing. Thanks, I see these guys all the time, and uh, um, Thanks, I'm, uh, I'm always close to their leadership and their, and their sales teams. And it's just, it's just, they're a sales team, but they're just, they're just all good people. And like, they're just good people. Yeah, you yeah. know, but you guys are just such good people. So if you've been waiting for that opportunity, you know, and you've made it this far and you're sitting here, it's like, dude, what's next? Make sure you make sure you execute now. Make sure you reach out. Make sure you take the the next step. Most people are afraid to. That's why they never go anywhere. Okay, uh, procrastination is the thief of time. It's the devil, it really is. Procrastination just it gets out. resistance takes most of the world out. Yep. That resistance that stands between you and your next life. If you can overcome that, you're the most dangerous person in the room. And we all did. And the people that we know that are successful, they did it too. It's your turn. Okay. So we love you guys. We believe in you. Have a blessed day. And I can't wait to see you guys partner up with them and kick some ass. Let's go. See you soon. Let's go. Hey, guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications. And then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. And I promise you that my skills are getting sharper, so I'ma get charted. Can't be guarded. Nah, I'm the one to get retarded. Get the